Okay, you guys, we are in a uh, special truck right now going through an animal area, which we will show in just a moment, uh, with keepers Alicia and Myra at the Oakland Zoo. I'm pretty excited, and uh, I guess we'll, you'll see what we're doing in just a minute. So I'm excited, that's all I can say. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> Step one. <laughs> All right, you guys, we're here at the Oakland Zoo. I have never been to this zoo. I'm so excited to be here. We have some special encounters ahead of us. Let's go check them out and have some fun. Our first stop takes us all the way up to the California Trail exhibit, which opened in 2018. It's a brand new exhibit that shows native wildlife from both past and present. Okay, you guys, so the keepers are getting ready and uh, they're getting some, some, what is this, compost? They're dropping some compost in this exhibit. I think you can see what animal it is right behind me here. We are here with the bison. There are 19 total bison here at the zoo, and right now we're basically on a little bit of a ride along, uh, part of their morning keeper uh, daily duties, right? <laughs> so what is this, uh, what's the compost for? Uh, the compost is to help with their self-care, so helping with pest control, helping with cooling off, Mm -hmm. It's a uh, compost that's from our on-grounds composting. So this is actually all the old hay and poop from everybody else. So they'll roll around getting it all over their skin, make sure it's nice and coated to protect them from like biting flies and different things like that. Just, just like a skincare routine for bison. I take good care of my own skin and like, you know, like to showcase what they're doing too. For some reason, I feel like it's an episode of Dirty Jobs. <laughs> Do they breed here? Uh, yeah, so we are involved. Uh, breeding season is rut. Uh, in California, breeding season is pretty much year round. However, if you're in the northern latitudes, you're a little more restricted by climate and weather. Uh, so, yeah, uh, our bison herd could breed any time of the year. And as evidenced by the five little ones we have this year, they were successful nine five months ago. Ones. Wow. Um, and we are still monitoring some of our. Uh, adult females, we think some more might be pregnant. So. Oh, nice! That's yeah. exciting. Yeah. So I see with the with the young ones, with the babies, they are a different color uh, compared to the adults. Why? Why is that? Um, it helps with some camouflage in the prairie. Like we don't have a lot of tall grass here, but if you can imagine, in the plains where there's lots of tall grass and shrubs, um, hiding in those yellowish hues with a kind of red coat can be to their advantage. Um, and then it helps moms find them in the curd too. So helps them pop out a little bit more than the rest. They're a massive animal here. How, how big can they get? Um, well, our bulls are fully grown. We estimate they're between 1,800 pounds and 2,000 pounds. Wow. Um, the cows, maybe the bigger ones are up near 1,000, 1,200 pounds, somewhere around there. Yeah, but those males have just that big, massive, muscular shoulder, and they have the, the really big hump. So what's what's up with the hump? Yeah, well, they all have humps. Mm -hmm. uh, the, one advantage for all of them is they'll use those muscles that come off of that hump to help move snow out of the way oh, to cool. graze through the winter. Yeah. Um, so big muscles there. And then the, for the males, it's a big advantage for when they're competing when with they're each battling. other, throw a little more weight around. And they got those big heads, big horns to all help with that competition part. Yeah, so basically what you can't see here on, on camera, we will show it a little bit later. Hopefully I'll try to. They have 13 acres of, of land here just for the bison to, to roam and you know, have their have their space and like almost like a like a prairie in the wild. Really cool. All right, so we're in the back of the keeper truck now, and we're on a move to go get the uh, bison's food. You know, everyone loves food, right? Dropping off some hay. Dropping off some hay. Dropping off some hay. I actually have a um, hay allergy <laughs> as a zookeeper, and uh, it's just great. So if I start sneezing and dying halfway through, just you know, hold your breath. Hold my breath. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but not about the hay allergy, but serious. How about you can toss- Sure, I'll toss them. Entire box of greens. The whole out. thing? Uh, save the box, but toss all the greens. <laughs> not you sure they want, they want I, to eat the box? I was trying to spread it evenly. Spread the love. Spread the love. Everyone needs some, some lettuce. I'll be okay. We'll see. 
I might start sneezing halfway through. As long as I don't touch my face. Actually. Oh, oops. That's okay. Paper. I'm the sorry. The paper's okay. They get okay. paper enrichment. Shoot. I thought I grabbed it all out. Sneaky paper pieces. I'm sorry. It's okay. Shame on me. <laughs> Shame on me. All right, Myra, we're good. It's funny. Some boxes don't have any paper. Right. Like that. Well, that, that first one didn't. Yeah. Like... <laughs> so how many total you said? You said? 19 right 19. now. 19. Yeah. We had 33 before we shipped. Mm-hmm. 33. Talk about a herd. It's a big herd. God, more paper. What you know what? <laughs> I am just failing today. Just, just fire me now. Just fire me now. We're doing it, you guys. Do I have to split it apart? Nope, you're good. Awesome, because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to die today. <laughs> you need to sprinkle it over your head as you. Come. Yeah. Oh my god, I already sneezed <laughs> once. Awesome. So I'm pretty sure you've never had anybody uh, throw hay like that. I'm pretty <laughs> There's sure. There's a million and one ways to do it, I guess. No, I'm pretty sure I'm just the kind of the best at doing it. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know. You'll get your gold star sticker. Oh, I will take here. a gold star. Thank you. <laughs> I had such an awesome time hanging out with these cool, beautiful bison. They were such an inspirational creature to be around. Just imagining 30 to 60 million of these used to roam North America before the mid 1800s. Their numbers are no longer as vast, but it's pretty amazing to see zoos like Oakland trying to do what they can to help the population. All right, Alicia, thank you so much for taking us around uh, to see the bison. That was so much fun. I did have one question for you, though. I like to ask the zookeepers, what do these animals mean to you? What do the bison mean to you? Oh, uh, they represent what America used to be, and they have so much cultural significance for the first people, um, and it's really something that even our generation should appreciate and yeah. understand, and I love working getting the chance to work with this huge animal like yeah. it's really it humbles me and yeah i think that's why i enjoy working with them they're special yeah well awesome thank you so much for your time and i uh, hope to see you again sometime in the future yeah all right see you bye all right, you guys, that was it for the animal encounter of the day. Let me know down in the comment section what your favorite info or fact about today's animal was. Till next time, it's your boy Jungle Jordan. I'm out.